I wish I had known these mistakes when I started shaving my face. Welcome to Mindful Midlife where we do all things weight loss, beauty, and life over 50. Now shaving your face does a whole bunch of wonderful things for your skin. It makes your skin sm smoother. It takes off all that fuzz that you've got on your face. Your makeup just looks so much better. And it also gets a little bit of your dead skin cells off. There's so many benefits, but if you do it wrong, your skin may really show that you are not doing it right. The first mistake to avoid is shaving your face while it is wet at all. Like it should not be even moist. If you've just washed your face, you need to wait a good half hour before you actually go in and start shaving. Your skin will pull instead of it gliding across your face. You want it to be completely dry. You should not use a used blade or you should not use it unless you have disinfected it. I do use disposable blades only because I really do not know of a really good non-disposable blade. So if you guys know of a really good one, please put it below so myself and everyone else reading it can benefit from knowing what it is. I've seen some that are out there that are good that cost a fortune. I'm not really willing to do the fortune. So I'd love to know of a good one that doesn't cost a lot. Right now what I'm using is the Chic Hydro Silk. I get them off of Amazon because it's just so easy to find them. They come in, this is a pack of nine of them, and these work really good. I love these. It may not be a professional blade, nor is it as sharp as a professional blade, but it is good. Since these are meant to be disposable, it's very good to use a new one each time you use it. Now, have I reused a blade when I had to? Yes, but I always clean it very well. You do not want to keep using the same blade over and over again thinking that's okay. That's a good way to get infected. So be careful when you're doing this. Usually I will say to people, you shouldn't be pulling your skin because it causes wrinkles. But when it comes to shaving, you actually do need to pull your skin, especially when we are at the age that we are, we have skin that is saggy and loose in areas. So if you do not have that really taut skin as a young 20 year old, you need to be pulling it. Other times, do not pull your skin, but in this case, you do need to. So when you're getting along your jawline, pull it up. When you're going anywhere, like just go ahead and pull areas and places where you just need it to be taunt and then go in and do your shaving. That way you won't first skip over your skin. Sometimes if there's wrinkles, instead of going a nice smooth, it'll actually skip over it and you can cut yourself so much easier if you don't have a smooth area. Another mistake is not using the right angle for when you are shaving. You want a 45 degree angle. You've got your blade here. If this is a 90 degree angle, you want to shave going this direction. So you're gonna shave down going that way, not across your skin this way, but this way. If you do not, it would be an easy way to cut yourself and you do not wanna cut yourself, especially on your face. Another mistake is pressing too hard. You have a pretty sharp blade. Let the blade do the work. If you press too hard on your skin, that's a good way to irritate your skin. Now, shaving can irritate your skin. I have irritated skin when I am done with this because of the fact that I am running a blade across my face. I also have rosacea, so I also have to be very careful about that because any kind of friction will cause my rosacea to come out more. But the benefits outweigh the fact that I could get irritation because of how great my skin looks after I've done it. You do not need to press hard. You need to play with it a little bit and see how hard you press. But if you can see the little hairs coming off and a little bit of skin coming off, you're doing good. Harder is not better. It's best to shave your face in the evening. So that's when I will do it, not the morning, because the morning I'm going to now have a red face. And if I possibly do nick myself, now I'm dealing with a cut on my face. I don't do that very often, but I have in the past. So you just don't wanna to have to deal with any of those things. So shave your face in the evening, 
right after you've washed your face and gotten it completely clean and you've let it dry for that good half hour, then go ahead and do it. You also don't wanna wait too long in between shavings. I think a good rule of thumb is once a month, it depending on how fast your hair grows on your face or how much hair you do have. I will be honest with you, I don't have a ton of hair on my face. I don't have a ton of hair anywhere. <laughs> I'm just not a hairy person, but some people really are. Some people get a lot of it and it's darker. So I would say you need to shave probably more often. But those of us who are have more blonde and thinner face hair, you probably don't need to do it more than once a month. But you'll know, you will see it. Just look in the mirror and see if you can see, especially when you add powder. If you add powder onto hairy, a hairy face, that powder is just going to gather on all of that hair instead of, instead of actually getting to your skin. And you're gonna see it and you're just gonna look powdery. It's just not attractive. So when you see that happening, you know I need to shave more often. Another huge mistake is not taking the opportunity to exfoliate your skin after you're done. Now I know it seems like you just exfoliated. You just went through with the blade and took off a layer of skin, but you've got some very loose skin on your face right now and it's going to show. You wanna get that off and I have found, at least for me, that when I wash my face, it doesn't really still take it off. I need to actually use something that will get it off. Now, I do not like a physical kind of exfoliant. I would rather do a more chemical kind of exfoliant, but a little bit faster of one, because I'm always technically exfoliating my skin with my skincare, with acids and things. But one of the ones I like is e.l.f. Gentle Exfoliant. This as you can see, is well loved. <laughs> I've used it many times, but it's like this because I will tell you right now that this is literally the worst dispenser for this. It always stops working, always. And e.l.f. needs to improve this, but they haven't so far. But the product itself is inexpensive and it works. This takes all of that extra skin that is now loose, but it's kind of still attached and it gets it off of your face. I have shaved my face and then forgotten to use this and then my skin looks horrible the next day because I still have some that just didn't get scraped off, but it's still kind of there. So this, oh my goodness, this works amazing. I've used this for several years and I can't re recommend it enough. Your face feels so clean and smooth afterwards. Okay, you have now shaved your face and I will tell you, your face is going to feel raw. Now you need to go and soothe it. So right after you've used this, when it's time to go rinse all that off, use very cool, not freezing cold, but cool water, not warm. The cool water will just feel amazing on your face, first of all, because your face is going to feel a bit inflamed because you just inflamed it. <laughs> so take it and you know splash it. You can use a washcloth and get it all off. Gently take it off and just put your face in cold water. It will feel so good. And it also just helps to calm your face down. Another big mistake is that night that you've done this, don't go in with any acids. So not your tretinoin, retin-A, or a retinoid, or other kinds of exfoliating acids. This is the night to just give your skin a break from all of those things. This is the night to just do soothing products on your skin because you need to let your skin calm down and relax. So just don't go in with those things this night. Another mistake would be to not use an oil. To me, the best thing to do is to actually avoid my moisturizer and go directly to my skin with an oil. I've been using the Ordinary 100% Rosehip Seed Oil for many years. This is the most calming and most wonderful feel after I've done shaving and I've exfoliated. I put a couple of drops of this in my hands and blot it onto my hands and rub it in. And this feels so good. 
I will tell you sometimes if I go in with a moisturizer right away, it will actually sting my skin. So you don't, this is when you don't want to use a vitamin C. All of those things are just going to, they'll literally sting your face when you've put it on. At least they do mine. So I need things that just soothe it at this point. So this goes on immediately afterwards. While my skin is still moist after washing off my exfoliant and getting all of it off, all of it off this goes on my face. And I let that just soak in for a couple minutes. Now, I may go in with a moisturizer afterwards. I can do that, but this is first. The next morning and that next night, you can go ahead and do your normal skincare routine. I'm gonna link a video right here that gives you my complete skincare routine, and I will see you maybe in that one or another one. God bless.